Hey guys, a very good evening to all my crypto believers. So, have you all been curious about what's happening in the market? Don't you worry, the coin monks got you covered. Okay, so before starting with the updates, let's quickly go to today's headlines. Flurry Finance hacked, reportedly 293k dollars lost. Puma changes its Twitter handle name to puma.eth. Bitcoin gains momentum as Biden slaps Russia with sanctions. Five key takeaways from the official Indian crypto ads guideline. So, let's start with our refresh feed. Firstly, Flurry Finance tweeted and informed their community that it was hacked. Without any further ado, let's quickly use the hackman meme here and see what exactly happened. Today, Flurry Finance was hacked. Flurry Finance was the client of Certi K. Certi K informed people that Flurry Finance is a Certi K client, but the exploit was caused by external dependencies. Certi K was the first to tweet and inform people about the hack. A few hours after Certi K, Flurry Finance tweeted about the incident and informed the community that their team is investigating and tracing the source of the hack. It has now all paused smart contracts running on the BSC and Polygon to avoid further losses. Further, F- Flurry Finance informed their community that their team is doing its best to investigate the exploitation. As a precautionary measure, they have paused all smart contracts of row tokens, including those on BSC and Polygon, which means convert or redeeming row tokens. It claimed that Flurry and the rebasing function will be paused for today. Further, the thread said Flurry Finance is digging deeper into the incident. Flurry Finance found that the hacker exploited only funds deployed on the finance rabbit strategy which they are still investigating. Funds on other strategies remain safe, whereas the interest earning feature is still up and running. Interest earned from today's yield aggregation will be rebased in the next rebasing slot, presumably tomorrow at 9 am UTC. Because the multiplayer is one of the factors deciding the row token balance, the attacker's row token balance was increased in the transaction, so they were able to withdraw more tokens than they deserve from the vault. The attacker repeated this process multiple times. Anyways, moving ahead, apparently Puma changed its Twitter name, so let's have a look at what these guys are up to. The Twitter RT broke into speculation as it changed its Twitter account username to Puma.eth, taking the NFT universe to another new level. The German multinational corporation made headlines yet again, fodder enough for impatient fans and consumers who wanted the company to venture into the world of cryptocurrencies. The year 2021 saw the rebranding of one of the most prominent social media organizations, Facebook to Meta, leading to the emergence of the Metaverse. The latest name added to the star-studded list is that of Puma. But it's not the first athletic retailer venturing into the metaverse business as Nike posted a job listing back in November 2021 in search of a virtual material designer to be part of the team focusing on igniting the digital and virtual revolution at Nike. Puma, which Rudolf Dassler initially founded, is the third largest sportswear manufacturer in the world. Headquartered in Herzogenrath, Bavaria, Germany, designs and manufactures athletic and casual footwear, apparel and accessories. So jumping on to our next segment, according to Bloomberg, but Bitcoin reached the green zone after US President Joe Biden announced further measures aimed at cutting Russia off from Western banking. Well, let's have a look at what's getting cooked out there. According to CoinMarketCap, the leading cryptocurrency rose 3.66% in the previous 24 hours to $38,151 in intraday trade. On February 18, Bitcoin's price fell below the psychological milestone of $40,000 for the first time in two weeks due to headwinds. This occurred amid rising tensions between Ukraine and Russia, raising the risk of a full-fledged conflict. More than 100,000 Russian troops had been sent to the border. As a result of this action, volunteer groups and non-governmental organizations in Ukraine have received Bitcoin donations to help their army with drones, medical supplies and military equipment. The tensions between Ukraine and Russia have triggered geopolitical considerations that have been detrimental to the cryptocurrency industry. Things haven't been looking good, and some analysts are predicting that Bitcoin will drop below $30,000. This is a scenario that has happened since May of last year. Nonetheless, the 36k to 37k dollars range has emerged as critical support which must be maintained in order to avoid more losses. Bitcoin needs to turn to support now that it has risen above $38,000 since it is a high resistance zone that was a nightmare in January. Furthermore, the geopolitical variables at play will have a significant impact on BTC's future move.
So moving forward with our final coverage for today, here are the five key takeaways from the official Indian Crypto Ads Guideline. Yeah, I got it all summed up for y'all. The new crypto advertising framework is due to take effect on April 1, the same day that the controversial 30% tax is set to take effect. Let's have a look at five major conclusions from the rules that will affect the future of content in crypto company ads. After April 22, all crypto marketing must include a warning stating that crypto and NFT goods are unregulated and extremely dangerous. The disclaimer must be shown in all of the major languages. A crypto asset cannot be compared to the regulated assets in the advertising. When referring to their products or services, crypto advertisements must avoid using terms like money, securities, custodian and depositories. In no way, shape or form, crypto ads should pitch their goods as a solution to money concerns. In order to be profitable, crypto ads must provide clear, accurate, adequate and up-to-date information. So we will now wind up with our assessment for today evening and meet you all tomorrow with even more interesting stuff. Until then, you may consider joining our Telegram channel for free crypto signals, visit our blog linked below for guides, reviews and tutorials and subscribe to the channel and get daily updates about the crypto market. Lastly, with this little favor of CoinMonks, we hope you stay updated. Thanks for watching and have a nice day ahead.